chi. Great. Kudashi. This is self-defense numbers 11 through 15. We're going to start with a left choke from behind, a left rear choke from behind. Very similar to the one we did earlier, except done on the opposite side. Very important to have both sides in self-defense. We reach out both hands, grab. Clamp the hand closest, eye rake or finger strike to the face. Pull down, turn your chin. Step behind, hold that position. You're going to push his hips forward, pull him back, and then tailbone strike. And we'll do it again. So he's choking. Both hands come up. Eye gouge. Pull down. Step behind. Make sure you push his hips forward, get him off balance. Choke, tailbone strike. That was number 11. Number 12, single shoulder grab. And that's going to be basically the high nice to meet you guys always call this move. They grab here from almost the side or the back. They pull you. Your hand's going to say hi. The same hand goes to the face. That's the nice. To meet you, stomach, reach out, knee strike to the groin. Okay, so again, nice and slow. They're grabbing you. As they pull, you're catching your balance. The same hand that does the balance, the high, you want to strike right to the face. Stomach and then groin. One more time. So they grab a little faster. One, two, three, and four. All right, our next one is our push, I don't want to fight technique. The person comes up to you and they're gonna push you. You're gonna say, I don't want to fight. Hands come up. Basic hook punch comes at you. Cover up. Grab the shoulder, drive the knee, and then elbow across. We're gonna go and switch the angles on this. You can see it from another angle. Person comes up, gives you a push. You step back, self-defense position, basic cover up. Grab that shoulder, drive that knee, and do an elbow strike at the end, okay? Our fourth one is our double lapel grab. The person's gonna grab your shirt here. It's not a choke, it's a lapel grab. So it's grabbing your shirt, like lifting you up, and a lot of times when they do that, they push you backwards, so you take a step backwards. So he's lifting up, pushing backwards. I press down on the arms, elbow comes across, and then finish with the knee. So again, he's grabbing, a little push back, step back, press on the arms where they bend, Elbow, knee, and that's our double of power grab. Our last one is a rear bear hug under the arms. So the arms are available to be free. This is a really simple one. You have lots of choices. Biggest thing on this technique is doing two of the techniques. Any two offensive or counter position motions. So I'm gonna do an elbow strike, stomp on the foot. That's one idea. Another idea, again, could be a stomp on the foot and lift your foot up to the groin. That's another idea. I could do a headbutt, elbow. As long as I do two moves, that's what's important. I could strike to the hand and then to the groin. If he happens to lift me up a little bit, then I would hit him in the groin, my foot automatically. My leg just comes right up to the groin. And then after that, I would want to finish with some technique. The reason I'm using elbows a lot, very powerful. All right, cheek. Great, thank you.